Hello, Warfighters, War is Hell. Welcome back to a Total War Saga. Troy, this is the Paris campaign. And so this gameplay that I've done so far up to this point uh, has kind of been pretty mixed as far as the outcome has gone. Yes, I've taken one town, but I got just absolutely destroyed in my previous battle. And this is going to be the most important engagement that I've had this entire series so far. Yes, I know I'm in episode two, uh, but I retreated because of the loss in the last battle. And with them pursuing me, if they eliminate me right here, I'm going to lose my army. And this is all the forces that I have. I've kind of placed everything uh, into one group. And, and this is kind of the drawback of it. Now, one of the things that the enemy forces had to their advantage in the previous episode was one, superior numbers. And they also had access to... Uh, better terrain than I did they were able to leverage the trees which gives them a significant defensive advantage and it also put me in a bad situation because as they would approach I wouldn't be able to see what direction they were coming from or what they were bringing so they were they were masked so I'm gonna try and utilize that strength this time to my advantage placing all my units right here I'm gonna start placing my archers back into the trees because I know they've got some javelin throwers uh, and some other missile units that will probably cause me some problems I'm gonna have some of the spearmen up front followed by a couple lines of infantry that it will be better on the attack so the uh, spearmen will take the brunt of this assault and then I'll just start pushing in with uh, my other troops right after the engagement there starts with the spearmen so they've got four javelin units that I can see and I've got uh, four sets of archers so we're gonna try to, to see if we can neutralize the javelin infantry. It'll probably be the biggest help the for me right now. One of the advantages of being in the trees is I think there's a 40% reduction in uh, chance of being hit by missiles. So like arrows, javelins, whatever it might be. So I, I'm, it's kind of one of the reasons I'm staying in here. Now they're bringing in their troops just a little bit at a time, which works well for me because they're not set up in a line and pushing in. Uh, using one of his abilities right there well, that hero is just gonna make those guys stronger but the fact yeah that they're not bringing in all their forces at once allows me to be able to hit them with multiple units now here comes an attack on my right flank as we've got some more of these oh the harpies now are moving in with a few spearmen all right this is just gonna be a little battle for attrition right here but uh, I've got to get my archers continuing to fire and eliminating the javelin infantry. It, the reason why that's going to be so key is if I can get these guys to start routing pretty quickly, that's going to make the entire army start to lose morale. And I really have the advantage now when it comes to archers, seeing that I've got two of my units now at a level two veterancy, and I've got some of my other guys at one. I think veterancy is going to play a huge role, but now looking at what we've got up top here for the meter determining the momentum, it's definitely starting to go in my favor as this plan that I had to hit the uh, javelin infantry seems to be working. We've got one group that's uh, retreating. Oh, and just along their entire front, we're starting to see some of their guys fall back as well. So I feel like I've got the right side secure. Their leader is starting to regain some of his own morale but I don't want to push the attack necessarily too much I've got a couple units that are are chasing down some of these guys but I don't know if that's necessarily gonna be the best move for me I just don't want these guys to to rally and then start coming back and hitting my guys from a number of different sides oh, dang it there's another use of his ability but we've just got that one uh, sword unit left in the middle that's taken quite a bit of losses and morale seems to be going a little bit up and down here yep Victory they are in close enough to taste. yeah they're, they're withdrawing right now oh we've got some harpies back here so let's let's get some of my guys to go away from the front start coming back to the back of the lines and taking out these harpies we still got these guys moving. Oh, yeah, this is it. They're all leaving the battlefield now. 
I wonder if I'm going to be able to, to kill that leader because I think that's going to be a pretty big factor right here. So I've got Paris of Troy following after him. I'm going to have my archer starting to open up on him too if I feel like that he's going to get away. You know what? Let's, let's just start opening up on him. I've got three infantry units going after him. And yes, I am seeing that HP start to go down a little bit, but... Uh, it's it's going pretty slow. I've definitely noticed that the best option to take these guys out. Oh dang, that was that was uh, friendly fire. Yep, let's let's get away. Yep, took out another guy too. Paris, you're a jerk. Not only are you stealing other guys' wives, but shooting your own guys. See, this is what I mean. You look at his HP just going down a lot faster with archers going after him. Oh, he's going to make it into the trees. Remember that defensive advantage, so it's going to take a little bit longer for me to take him down. But I think with as far as he has to travel, uh, he, he's a goner. Yep, those guys are running. Come on. Get the shot. There we go. Perfect. Okay, we're going to end the battle right here. So rather than taking a settlement of some kind, like a city or town uh, or village, I guess I should say, what this allows me to do is to get the heck out of here. What I'm going to do is fall back to my main province, where my capital is. I'm going to use this opportunity to... Uh, it's only a 4%. I Do I want the... Oh, this is a tough one. You know what? Just in case we get attacked again, I'll take just that 4%. Not much, but... Yeah, there's eight of those guys left, and he's going into... Or close enough to the city, and he's got reinforcements coming up. So, yeah, I'm just going to fall back from here and start recuperating and getting uh, my troops refilled here with a, a larger amount. Not how I wanted things to start out here with the first campaign that I have trying to take the island of Lesbos, but to be fair, um, I guess I am kind of happy that I get to fall back. I feel like I'm going to come back, though, with an even stronger force than I had before. Gosh. See, this is... I don't know if you guys saw the previous episode, but Paris, it's, it's basically required that he's next to Helen all the time. Otherwise, we start to see negative impact to the army that he commands. So we, we've got to get him back for that reason, too. Which, yes, I could try and move Helen to a different location. Um, but I don't have another place I can really put her outside of that main province. I think what I'll probably do also is I will transition Paris to a different hero unit. You know, even though I start off with him, I think there are some better heroes I could utilize. Okay, fine. For the sake of being nice for now, I will give you 16 gold. And I will give you 47. I just, I don't know. I have to build up these alliances very early on. I don't want to put myself in a position, especially since I've got the hard difficulty to start off. Uh, I don't want to have too many enemies as I'm just getting started. So, yes, I have to give some things up, but... Oh, now he's gloomy. Oh, how sad. Ah, let's just get him back. Now, there still is obviously some danger as I'm moving back here. Um, but even though I am in my ships, you can see I'm still starting to regen my units. I don't think I'm going to be attacked by, by them. I think that would be a, a pretty terrible idea. Um, but here's a good opportunity to get some better archers so i'm gonna go ahead and upgrade to that i also purchased the training grounds in the last episode that will be nice especially when i get to level five for uh gosh i'm gonna slaughter the names larissa troas yeah i'm sure i'm gonna get made fun of in the comment section for that i'm just gonna call it my capital um but no when i get my capital up to level five and i can get some of those heavy units yes they're more expensive but i should be able to just steamroll anybody basically all right we're gonna go another turn obviously getting paris up closer to the capital helen's beloved i don't think we can get him necessarily in there so let's we're just gone. go to 
Hamaxitos. Um, see, <sighs> what do I got for military units? You know, I'm gonna go ahead and, and construct this since it's a maximum level three. I don't necessarily want to put it on my capital. I want to save that for some other things that I think will be helpful down the line. Especially when it comes to some of the other military buildings that I can construct, which will give me some better units. Okay, so right now I can get some more spearmen, uh, two-handed axemen. Okay, you know what? Nope, not worried about that now. I'm going to disband some of these spearmen, seeing that I can already Most buy excellent. the medium level one, which have far better shields. Paris. They can hold out a lot longer. Um, Paris. So disbanding them is also Divine going to help me out judge. with being able to save some of my resources. Oh, dang. I forgot. I also have to purchase some bronze as well, and I only have 57. It takes 82 for me to uh, build one unit. I've got three more. And since I'm only accumulating 10 per turn, I'm gonna have to use some diplomacy here to get the bronze that I need to construct this army. So let's let's talk to Hector, my brother, my main man, who's defending me despite Paris being an absolute idiot. I am delighted, my let's see what he's got here. I'm delighted too, man. Okay, so he's really needing stone, which I can get him some of that. Um, but he's... I don't know if I'm necessarily going to be able to do this. I'm going to ask for 200 bronze. I think that should get me to what I need. Let me offer him some, some wood. Oh, wow. That's actually a small amount of, of wood for the bronze that I need. I can I can ask for more. Heck yeah, I'm asking for more. Three ten. Oh, that's pretty good. I'll take that. Okay. Thanks, Without dude. Delay. Perfect. Okay. Yes, we're going to exit the negotiation, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna purchase the rest of these spearmen. I should be able to do that, no problem now. So I'm gonna start going with, oh, I gotta wait till the next turn. Whoops, I totally did that wrong. You know what, that's okay. We're, we're, we're gonna wait here and I'm gonna get these units and we'll be set. Uh, their demands, no, I'm not gonna agree to that. Wait, yeah, I am. Okay, so I'm, I'm kind of torn on what I want to do with those guys that I just agreed to. So, I want the entire island. And they're, uh, I take they're friendly. I'm going to have to find a way to try and take them out. By okay, alright. Now we can, we can go ahead and get the no spear warriors. All right, I've got three, and then... What I will probably need to do is get rid of some of the other units also. So we'll try this. Okay, just got to wait one more turn, it looks like, for that. And then I'll be set. I'll be able to get some more archers. And that'll be the, the next thing that I look to accumulate. Is I'll get rid of some of the archers that I, I have. I've got the two elite units that are in there right now. Uh, obviously, I'm going to try and keep them. But it's the other guys. Uh, that I think I'm going to go ahead and drop. Alright. Uh, I've gotten a Ever few faithful. more things here. Okay, so I've got axes. I'm going to keep them actually where they are um, because the, the next level up is oh, yeah, they have um, no shields that I definitely want to make sure that they have some defensive capability and can resist some of the archers. So we're going to get rid of these two-handed club infantry, which 
With charm I really don't like them that much, and I'd rather just spread it out a little bit more between the uh, spearmen. We'll get one more archer, or two more archers. No, I meant one. And some of the axemen that I've got, too. I'll probably... I'm trying to think if I want to make it 50-50. Okay. Two. Awesome. I think it's going to take me three turns. I don't necessarily want to wait that long if I don't have to um research let's go ahead and start getting the treasure hall which will get me 20 gold per turn I'm only at five right now you saw a lot of them are asking for it we'll get the sheltered ship stands going that'll get me some more of the food per turn so I can have a full-fledged army which is going to be in the medium category I cannot oblige. Oh, they're moving in to try and take it. See, that's what I need. I hope they take that town. All right, what do we got now? So I'm going to get a hero here. Elatos. The defender. The champion. Okay. So what I'm going to do is move those that I have already to Elatos. And war. We'll transition the army to him. And then I've got a few more, obviously, coming into Paris. I, take um, I think I'm just going to wait one more turn, and then I'll I'll just wait for those that last Axeman. I'll get him later on. I don't think one unit's necessarily going to make the difference here uh, if I want to take the, the Isle of Lesbos. Awesome. Oh, military alliance with another one of my brothers. Perfect. They also have Altus, by the way. Or Lemnos, for real. But yeah. That's that's Altus over there on the left side, by the way. Okay. Ah, dang it. They won. They held their town against the, the attack. I mean, it's not going to be good, but I'm going to have to find a way to betray them. Okay, so yeah, getting rid of the axes. March on. Get the other three in there. Cool. We'll take this 19-sized army, which, dang, I am losing 931 of my food per turn. Hopefully that turns around here pretty quick. All right, I'm going to move into Erisos in the next turn. So we're going to have a battle up ahead. I feel like I got to attack them quick because I, I just don't have the food stores to maintain this type of army. Oh, what's he doing? If he moves up there, you know, I'm going to agree. Uh, that's actually a lot to give up for only 57 per turn. Yeah, I'm going to have to reject that. Yeah, 57 food per turn. With all I was given away? No way. Okay, now it's dropped to 931. I, I, I'm actually going to go over here because if his army is surrounding that town get at them. and I go and attack him, then he's going to get it. So I'd rather he goes in there and fails. The the one guy that I'm not at war with here on the island. I This actually should be a quick and easy battle. Yes, we're going up against two heroes. Uh, one hero's got an army of eight, and then we've got the garrison in the town. But I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good about how this is going to go. I've got this new army, which is well, uh, or is much stronger here. I was gonna say well armored. But. All right, so we're gonna group them um, just like I was before. Spearmen first, and this small pass that we've got right up here. This, this is where I want to try and draw them to. Okay, so we're going to get the Spearmen holding that area. If I can get them to come out here and start engaging me, it's going to be the best. I'll, I'll try and get it to where I've got three of my Axemen on each side of 
the spearmen so that way they can come in and just try and hit anybody from the side. We'll see if this plan works though. All right, we're moving up, getting everybody into formation. Here these guys go. Gosh, I already feel like this army is a lot stronger than what I had before. They look it. Don't have guys running around in robes and tiny spears hoping to block uh, block archers. All right, so I'm trying to take a look here based off of what I've got in this area that I can engage with my archers. Again, just trying to draw them out. Uh, I might actually try and target their heroes because like the the spear infantry which are already being engaged by my archers while they're on the move uh, their shields is are gonna make them more resistant to the arrows that are fallen anti machos I know that's not how you pronounce it but it's, it spells anti machos so I think these guys so not macho all right, so let's let's target their javelin infantry right here. Um, we'll start Your taking them down. It looks like it's working. Approach. Not only are we taking down their unit, but we have now drawn them into this one choke point where they're going to be attacking superior forces head on. Oh, this is already going so well. I cannot believe that this is working as well as it is. Once again, they're not attacking me with their full force, just a little bit at a time. So as they're starting to trickle in, and I am hitting them with my full force. You can see there's now two units. Make that three that have already started to withdraw. Uh, we've got some slingers at the back, and then three archer units, which are going to cause uh, potentially some problems. So let's get my archers firing off in that direction. I think this is going to be a lot of medium infantry squaring off against each other um, at the choke point right here. But I'm pouring all my forces in now. And the battle's already going well for me. Got to get more of these arrows. Getting out here. And then what I could do is I could even move my own archers to start hitting this large clump of enemy. All right, there's one unit going. Let's get another unit of theirs to start falling back. Oh yeah, their their morale's dropping. They've got a unit that's retreating right by them, and there we go. All right, let's take out the slingers. We're getting really close to our line, which will be a problem here when it comes to to trying to fire. All right, slingers should be gone in just a second. And that is the last. I guess they have a, a javelin unit that's, that's come back. Are losing heart. Who's losing heart? All right, we'll get those guys going now. Perfect. Okay, we're rocking this. All right, we're gonna fall back here because I want to make sure that there's ample. Oh. Victory. Is close enough to taste. There's, there's still three harpies that are holding out. There we go. Now they're starting to leave. All right, we're just going to spray this whole area with with arrows. We're going to try and aim more towards the back because I don't want to hit my own guys if I can afford it. But these light swordsmen, uh, I feel like they're going to be somewhat susceptible here to the arrows, even if not. And look what we're doing. We're now starting to get around all of their forces, hitting them on three sides. The only place they can retreat is back across this, this small area. But I'm just going to pour into them with, with archers if they try and do that. Yep, their spearmen are falling back. All right, we're still looking good. We've got this one in the bag, I feel like. Yeah, we're starting to see some... Units really fall back. Oh, who's shooting at me? Oh, these archers thought it'd be a great idea to come back here. Well, that group has just fallen apart. Oh, yeah. Easy win right there. 
man, it's amazing how much of a difference it does make. I can't wait till I can get some heavy units, and then I'm really gonna go onto Greece and, and just wreak havoc there. Okay, I think we can we can end the battle. I could try and take out more of of their guys here with my archers, but um, I don't know. Let's just let's just go ahead and end it. Oh, I probably should have taken out their leaders. That's something I definitely could have done. Look at that, 95 losses on my part. That plan worked to perfection. All right. Well, we've eliminated everybody there. Dang. All right, we're gonna occupy this town. Now I'm gonna have to decide what I'm gonna do Rufus next. Good. How I'm gonna get the the rest of the island? Am I gonna go take the capital of the province, which is held by a friendly force? Am I gonna utterly betray them, or am I just gonna accept the fact that I'm not gonna have the whole island? Uh, or do I move and start taking the other hostile one, uh, hostile town? I guess you guys are gonna have to come back and see what I end up doing. But I'm just gonna do a little bit of additional maintenance around here. Nothing to get too excited about. Make sure you guys come back and see what happens. So subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell icon. You guys know all that great stuff. But really, thanks for watching this episode. Big thanks also to everybody at Patreon for supporting me. Stuff like this uh, that I, I appreciate you guys helping me be able to do. But war is hell. You don't have to worry because warfighters, I've got your six.